What is up, family and friends? Welcome to Yahweh's Aroma. Today, we're going to be making molten lava cakes. Stick around. I just want to give a shout out to all the mothers today. Happy Mother's Day. And by the way, this is going to be a great dessert for you to fix your mom for Mother's Day. So here we go. We're going to kick it off. We're going to take eight ounces of chocolate. We've got three eggs. We've got a stick and a half of butter. We've got a little tablespoon of cinnamon. We have a half a cup of sugar. And then we also have a third cup of flour. So, first up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this uh, chocolate and we're going to turn our oven on. We're going to have a little bit of water down there and we're just going to boil it and we're just going to put our chocolate inside the bowl and we're just going to let it melt. So here we go. While that right there is taking place, we can go ahead and move on to the next step. You got to take your sugar, your half a cup of sugar and your three eggs, we're going to have to mix these together. So you're going to get your eggs, and then after that, you're going to take your sugar, and you're just going to pour all that sugar in there. Ooh, all that yumminess. You're going to get you a little whisk, and you're just going to mix that around. So you're going to keep going, keep going. You want to try to get as many air bubbles as you can inside. Alright, so now the water's done came up to a bowl. So you just want to take it around. And you just want to keep moving it around just like this right here. Be careful with the steam because it could get hot. Best way to do it is just do it like that. Let it sit like that. Wait a minute. And then you come back over here. And just move it around. So now that all the chocolate is melted, I'm going to go ahead I'm going to turn that eye off. Um, but some people say take it off and then add the butter to it. Um, I personally, I like adding the butter to it now. It helps it melt a little bit and gets off in there and it makes it a whole lot easier to melt because then if it doesn't melt when you add it to your eggs and your sugar later, it gets like clumped up. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so here's the butter. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to it. Remember, that's a stick and a half of butter. It's a lot of butter. It's a lot of butter. Taste is good, bad for the heart. All right, now you can see we added the butter in there. Now the butter is melting in there. It's starting to get a little bit darker, nice and chocolate. Now we're gonna also add the cinnamon. You know, there's one thing about cinnamon. You can add cinnamon to anything. It makes everything taste better. And we're just gonna keep stirring it back and forth. Stirring it back and forth. All right, so there are many different ways that you can actually warm your chocolate up. Um, this way, I, I just added a little bit of water in the bottom, turned it on high, let, let it boil and then there, there just kind of melted the chocolate or you can also throw it in the microwave but you gotta remember to also put butter in your microwave don't don't use any water at all but the only problem with them using the microwave is all that radiation we don't like radiation
All right, so now the chocolate is done and all the butter's melted and you already got the cinnamon added into it. So now what we want to try to do is make sure that your, uh, your three eggs and your sugar, you see how you got all the bubbles and stuff like that in there? That's exactly what you want to have. So make sure that after your uh, eggs have settled a little bit, you still see all those bubbles and stuff like that. All right, so now once you get to this part, you want to go ahead and preheat your oven. We're going to set it to 350 degrees. And then after that, we're going to start adding in the chocolate. All right, so now we got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're going to take this, our chocolate, and we're going to add it a little bit at a time because it's going to be warm whenever you take it off the eye. And you're just going to stir it in. If you pour the whole thing off in there, you're going to have you some like uh, chocolate scrambled eggs. Yeah, see, I'm supposed to be licking it this time. Uh huh. Yeah, it's good. I want to drink every bit of that right now. I don't want to make no lava cake. I just want to drink it all. Yeah. yeah. All right. So now that we already added all of our chocolate into our eggs and our sugar, now we're gonna take our flour. And we're just gonna dump that flour right off in there. Shoot. All right, so this recipe makes roughly four um, molten lava cakes. So we got four ramekins here. So let me holla at my girl, Pamela. Oh yeah. So you can use butter. Some people use butter and then they just butter inside of the ramekin. And uh, I have tried that and I have grown to love Pam. She works good for me. So anyways, you just want to give it a little spray. Make sure you got everything off in there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill them up about three quarters of the way. And then after we fill them up three quarters of the way, we're gonna throw them in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Some ovens, sometimes you could probably do it in 10 to 15 minutes, depending on what you're baking it in. Um, but for my oven and for these ramekins, it's about 20 to 25 minutes. I'll catch you when they're finished. All right, so the timer has already went off. So let's pull it out. We're just gonna check on it, it's been 20 minutes. So, this has been 20 minutes. And you can tell that they're not finished. Um, you can't really take a toothpick because you kind of want it to be uh, liquidy in the middle. So, liquidy, liquidy, liquidy. Anyways, so what you want to see is actually, you want to see the cake pulled away from the ramekin. And right now, we're not at that. So we're gonna put it back in there for another five minutes and we'll see it then. Let me check on you in a minute. All right, so let's get her out of there. So now if you look at it now, we actually have the where the cake is starting to separate from the ramekin on every single one of them. That is great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit here and sip and cool for about five or 10 minutes and then we'll get back with you then. All right, so now we don't wait it. So let's go ahead and take it. I'm going to put it on the plate. All 
right. Turned out nice. So let's let's do a little add another flavors to it. Add a little sugar. Add a little sugar. It's snowing in Florida. Oh my gosh. And now, the moment we've been waiting for. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got a little bit of that runny chocolate. Let's get a little bit of ice cream. Let's get a little bit of that molten lava cake. I'm sorry, you can't have any of this. I will enjoy it. That is a hallelujah moment right there. I'm gonna go ahead and have another bite. I'm gonna go ahead and have another bite. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you try this recipe out one day. And also, again, I just wanna give a big shout out to the Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And also, if you like this kind of content, like it, subscribe, leave a comment because we're about to be running out of things to cook, Bible studies to teach, leave a comment. And also, we just passed the big 50 mark on the subscribers. That's a big quinquagerian number. That is the word of the day. Quinquagerian. I'm surprised I can even say that. Anyways, please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side. So we just passed the big 5 0. The quick quinquagerian. The quick quinquagerian. The quinquagerian. How do you say that? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! I, I bet y'all can't say that five times fast. Quick, quick, quadrillion. Let's look at it really slowly. Quick, quadrillion. So look, we, we already hit the 50 mark. 50 subscribers. That is a quick, quadrillion. Quick, quick, quadrillion. How do you say it? Quick, quadrillion. Slow it down. Quinquagerian. <laughs> Here's how you say it. Quinquagerian. Quinquagerian. All right, that's a wrap.